What's going on, guys? It's Haley, GM85. It is text talk and chat time, and we are talking DIY. Do it yourself. Now, the reason I do it myself is literally just to save money. And reason it is, the project right behind me is estimated at 1800 possibly more. And all this is a bar swap. So, my recommendation is proper service information, which I do have. Everything you need to know about my bike is right here, good old-fashioned paper. Doesn't need batteries. You're never going to run out. Everything you need to know, right there. So, coming up. I do not have the time. That's another thing about doing DIY if you work professionally. DIY is sometimes hard because you tend to always fix other people's stuff before your own stuff. So this has kind of been on a back burner for a while. A long time in all honesty. So I'm going to try to do one video, possibly two parts. Uninstall, reinstall, proper procedures for everything. Removal of the gas tank, purging, everything. This comes up off whatever connections need to be removed, removed, or even the clusters up here need to come out, possibly. Um, not too possible, not too sure on that just yet, but it looks like the cluster comes off separately. So the tank's going to come off because it's the right way to do it. I was trying to think about doing it without removing it, and it's just the wrong procedure. I'd rather not fight with it. I'd rather do it properly. It only takes probably 10, 15 more minutes to do. So stay tuned to Tech Talk and Shop. I will be doing this only for Tech Talk and Shop on this motorcycle. This is a 2018 Lowrider Softail. It will not be on my channel. We're going to do everything from the beginning to the end. Tank removal, purge, cluster controls, depinning. We're going to do all of that coming up on just this bike. The other reason for do it yourself, my recommendation also continues is everybody has their chitlins or their hanes. Look how thin this is. It covers a lot of vehicles, admittedly. But sometimes it's uh, very vague. So my biggest recommendation is honestly go straight to the source. Yes, that this is actually covered in that chitlin. But this is volume three or four. So there's three more books. One of them's even bigger than this. This covers everything. Biggest thing you can ever do if you're going to do DOI is get the true OEM manual. Source that information correctly. I have diagrams for the 91 Bronco. And they unfold and it's everything I need. So that's my biggest pet peeve. You're going to do it. I've used these before. They have helped. But it's a lame replacement for true OEM information when you're working. Guys, so that's just my two cents on that, guys. GM85 for Text Talk and Shop. Stay tuned. We're going to pull this tank, swap some bars, and learn some stuff on a, on a Harley. So I'll see you guys all later.